we we really had to think back to to what life was like for us so so we're from Australia as Ross said and we went to the Women's Therapy Centre in 2018 so four years ago um and at that point so Ben and I had been married for six years before we before I was cured of vaginismus um but I mean, when you think about it, it was much longer um, that I'd had the vaginismus. Um, you know, I growing up, I'd never been able to use tampons and I, I got my period quite late. So it was never really a huge issue. My mum didn't really use tampons. So, you know, I think I mentioned to her once like, oh, like I find this a bit like tricky and I don't really know if I'm doing something wrong. And she was like, oh, look. I found it a bit easier once I started having sex and I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll just leave it. But I mean, it got pretty annoying. Like, you know, in Australia, we swim all the time. Uh, you know, anytime you have your period, not being able to go in the water. So it just became this annoying thing that I had to manage. And um, yeah, at the time it was important for us, for, for Ben and I, that we um, not have sex before marriage. Um, I think our views on that have changed quite a bit since then, but but at the time that's where we were. And um, and so, yeah, our, our wedding night was the first time that we tried to have sex and it felt like hitting a brick wall, but like the most painful, like like hitting a brick wall mixed with someone shoving a knife into you. That's how it felt for me. Um and you know, it'd been a long day. We were really tired. We thought, ah, oh, that's okay. Like we're new at this. Um, it's going to take a while. And unhelpfully, plenty of people had actually said to me beforehand, "Look, it's going to really, really hurt. Just, just to prepare you." Which I just think, oh, okay. <laughs> that's a lovely way to go into, um, you know. And we don't say that to men. We say that to women. So anyway. Um, yeah, exactly. So uh, thankfully, um, we had a couple who were kind of mentors for us and they checked in with us um, a few months after we'd been married and we still hadn't been able to have sex and it just hurt so, so much. And they said, how are things going? How's sex going? Which is really helpful <laughs> to have someone ask you that. Not many people do. And we were like, uh, look, it's <laughs> it's not happening. And they, as luck would have it, had had been through exactly the same thing. And and these friends of ours, she had had vaginismus and she'd said, look, I don't know if this is you, but this is what it felt like for me. And um, that was incredibly helpful because it meant that um, about a year into our marriage, we had a diagnosis. So I, I initially went to a sex therapist who diagnosed me with vaginismus and she referred me then on to a um, a pelvic floor physiotherapist in Sydney in Australia, which is where we lived. And um, that helped to a point a little bit. So the first time I went and saw this pelvic floor physio, I think we'd been married for about a year and a half at that point. Um, And she was able to get kind of a, a very small dilator in and she was like, everything looks good. It's normal. And I was like, really? Are you sure? The opening hasn't closed over. That's amazing. So it was quite painful, but um, but but you know, I was able to have that reassurance that okay, so I'm not a complete freak. Um, and my friend who had been through vaginismus had had been cured through going to this pelvic floor physio. Um, and so I thought, great, okay, this is going to work for me. My friend, you know, went through this and it worked for her, and she's got two beautiful kids now. Um, and so I was I was sent home with a set of of you know four dilators, small, medium, large, and Italian stallion, and just told to go for it. <laughs> and that did not work for me. It really, really didn't. Um, you know, it, it would work up to a point, and just being being left like that to sort of to do my own homework. And then I think I went back, you know, once a month. It wasn't enough for me. Um, it had worked for my friend, and I'm, I'm sure there are lots of people that it has worked for. But this went on for years um, of me trying and trying and trying and just being so discouraged that it just couldn't happen. Like I would I would have progress with maybe the smallest size and then I wouldn't be able to get any further. And you'd sort of, you know, have this homework that you'd need to do for like half an hour every day or 45 minutes and you're kind of psyching yourself up. And it's just it just it, it was pretty horrible, to be honest. Um, and this went on for years. And of course, you can't talk to anyone about it because nobody talks about it and nobody you know is going through anything similar which is not true but you think that that nobody else is um you know is ex- experiencing something like that um so yeah i think we'd been married for yeah maybe four or f- four or five years when i happened to be 
looking at vaginismus on YouTube and um, a video of a beautiful couple called Erin and Jim popped up, which I, th I think was maybe one of the very first videos that you guys posted from your, from your channel. And, um, and they were, they, yeah, that I just related to them so much. And I was like, oh, this, these people are like us, aren't we watched it together, didn't we? Yeah. And it was like, oh, this is, this is crazy. Like, and the way that they talked about the center and being cured immediately, I was like, this is too good to be true. There's something wrong with this. This can't be right. And so I went on a little hunt and watched all of the videos that I could find from the women's therapy center. And I talked to Ben about it and I was like, oh, look, Ben, like, you know, we've been doing this for years and nothing's changing. There's this place it's in America though. Um, and you had really, I'm just talking and talking, aren't I? But you should, you had really encouraged me that like, hey, we should think about this. Like mm. it's, you know, it's, yeah, it was a lot of money for us to come and it's very far, but you know, when you've been dealing with it for years and nothing's getting any better, oh. um, yeah, you'll, you'll try anything. Oh, please don't play the piano, love. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you want to say anything, Ben, about kind of what life was like, you know, pre, um, pre treatment? Yeah. So <clears throat> as sort of Ellie had covered, um, yeah, like we, as a, as a guy, you get a different narrative. Um, and that was really hard because I found myself, um, I found myself lying a lot um, in to support Ellie, if that makes sense. But at the same time, like she had been given these dilators and given this homework and it was just, <clears throat> it was just flat out depressing for her. And so I felt sad for her but at the same time I was like but this is not just for you it's for us and I felt a little bit frustrated about that and I was like <clears throat> there has to be a way you can sort of get past it and you can do this and I, I was just completely and utterly ignorant um, <clears throat> and yeah so there's a lot of guilt and also you feel like oh like I felt specifically as the guy, I was like, I'm, I took a lot of, I took some of that burden, like I'm causing a lot of pain and discomfort and maybe the problem is with me. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I think it was pretty frustrating. And then, yeah, to see, to sort of see, it's, it's unfortunate, but you get so disheartened with the possibility of things changing that just how liberating and perfect for us the the, um, the treatment was like it, it is it does seem too good to be true and you sort of have that cynical like um, edge to your outlook um, mm. which is probably <clears throat> put a lot of people off but oh it's so so beneficial and so good yeah and the number of testimonies I think that's what really helped me like the fact that we were coming from Australia and mm. it was such a big commitment for us to like we you know didn't have lots and lots of cash we really had to save our pennies and we took out a loan as well so that we could afford the whole trip um, but we, me in particular, I, I reached out to a lot of people and the doctors kindly put me in touch with, um, you know, there were a number of couples who'd been from Australia. And so I, you know, spent a lot of time messaging them saying, Hey, is this legit? Like, are, are you cured? And, and, and that's it. It's, it's the number of testimony speaking from real people who've been through it that really convinced us that, okay, like we're going to give this a shot. And so, yeah, we went over in 2018 and, um, Sorry, Ben's just ducking up to <laughs> be a dad. Um, and because we come from Australia, we did the two-week intensive program, which was fantastic because you're just you're just there to focus on on being cured, um, which was so helpful. Um, because yeah, I mean, it was lovely for us too. We got a bit of a holiday at the same time, but for those two weeks, you know, it's so unlike me back in Sydney going once a month and then, you know, being left to my own devices, it was just really helpful for us. Like, okay, this is our full-time job for this two weeks. Not that it even took two weeks. By the beginning of the second week, we were having sex. I was like, what? What? 
that can't be right. I remember the day that I can't remember maybe it was Dr. Ross or, or Dr. Lauren. Someone had said to us, okay, you're ready. Go and have sex now. We were like, what? Are you sure? Um, and poor Ben, bless him. Um, it was, I've got to say, it was wonderfully anticlimactic <laughs> the first time. Sex has not stayed like that. Don't worry. But it just, after it being such a huge deal for so long, um, it just wasn't in in a week, two weeks, and and I can just just say, look, it it does work. These these beautiful women know what they're doing, and the difference for us and for me, I suppose, was that the places I'd been to before really just treated vaginismus like a purely physical problem. Um, that's not what happens at the Women's Therapy Centre. As, as Dr. Ross said, it's a mind-body approach. So it is physical therapy, but coupled with really um, robust <laughs> psychological and emotional support, mm. which is what I needed and, and what has worked for countless other women. Um, and so that was the huge difference that made for us, you know, a bit of tough love, Dr. Lauren, you know, I'm, all the doctors are beautiful, but but it really, 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 you just are supported every step of the way. And you go in thinking, I'm going to be the first person that's that's not cured. That's, you know, this isn't going to work for me. I'm going to, I'm going to be the one case. Um, and of course you're not. Um, uh, and yeah, so life now is just yeah it's 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 incredible and and sex keeps on getting better and I, I guess another thing to say is that I was probably just as excited to use a tampon as I was to have sex sorry Ben um <laughs> It's, it's it's not just about it's not just about sex it's about it's about life which is something that the doctors always say and it, it's about being able to to use your body the way that it was meant to be used um and so yeah the first time having a gynecological exam no dramas I didn't even mention to them that I had had vaginismus um you know just no dramas at all using a tampon I use a menstrual cup now I'm, I'm pregnant now so I don't use it at the moment but um uh, just just I don't even think about it at all it is it's that good life is that good now um, we have a beautiful three-year-old daughter and another one on the way in May um, and we're so so um, uh, thankful for that those precious gifts um, and yeah just oh goodness <laughs> I can't speak more highly of of the program and the doctors